I hope you find this useful. Please subscribe and please like. Thank you for watching. I'm doing this for my own benefit as much as wanting to share this information as I found many other videos that show you how to rig and animate a single object but not more than one. Just somewhere to refer back to if I forget some of the settings. Blender is a powerful open source 3D program that you may want to consider as an alternative to commercial products such as Maya and 3D Studio Max. UDK is the free edition of the Unreal Engine which you can use to develop games. You can download 3D models from various websites and import these to UDK to use as a part of your games world or just use the models that come with UDK. What I want to show you today is how you can 1. Create a very simple model in Blender comprised of more than one object 2. Rig it 3. Create an animation for it 4. Import it into UDK and then 5. Play the associated animation in UDK. First of all, I'm going to create two objects by duplicating this cube by pressing Shift plus D. Go into the front ortho view by pressing the 1 button on the number pad. Now I press Shift A to bring up the Add menu and choose Armature and then Single Bone. I press R for Rotate and type 90 Enter to indicate that I want to shift it by 90 degrees. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode to edit the bone. Press E to extrude out another bone and click when I have it the right length. And move the bones and the boxes to a position that will allow me to connect up the two boxes. Then, with the joint selected, I go to the armature settings on the right hand side of the screen with the little man logo and choose the X-ray setting to allow me to see the bones through the other objects. I press Control Tab to go into Pose Mode and select the first joint which goes blue. Just right click on the box which is in Object Mode, hold down Shift, then right click on the bone we need to parent and then press Control P to bring up the parenting options and select Bone. We do this for both boxes and bones. So let's test the parenting as worked. I want to make the boxes follow the bones. The boxes are the children and the bones are the parent. Now we're ready to create the animation. The animation bar is at the bottom of the screen. We're already on the first frame and I want to just record the current location by pressing I and then selecting rotation. I'm now going to select the 10th frame on the animation timeline and rotate the first joint to where I want it by the 10th frame and then pressing I and selecting rotation. Blender will take care of animating the frames in between. I select the 20th frame and rotate the second joint to where I want it to be by the 20th frame by doing the same thing again, and so on. I want the positions to return to the start position by the 50th frame, so I just enter the X rotation value manually so that it is accurate. Again, I press I and rotation to lock in the rotation. Just slide the bar to check out the animation. Set the last frame to be the 50th frame and then press the play button. Save the file somewhere safe. So now we need to export in a format that UDK understands. Export it by going to File, Export, Autodesk FBX. Give it a name. Scale it up by 50, UDK and Blender size units are different. Choose the mesh and the armature by holding down shift and clicking. Check you have the other settings as I have. And then export the FBX file to somewhere you can find again later on. You're now ready to import to UDK. Open UDK Editor. Go to the Content Browser and click on the Import button. Find your FBX file from Blender. You have to create a name for the package to which your mesh, armature and animation will belong. Copy the settings I have here. Press OK. Ignore the warning, Blender uses an older version of FBX. Check out the mesh by double clicking on it. Left click on the viewer to rotate and right click to zoom. Now set the animation. It should have the same name as the name of the anim set that was in the content browser. Press play to test it. Great, so we've proved that everything imported properly. Now to get it working in game. Drag the mesh into the level. Rotate it if you want. Open up Kismet. Create a new matinee to play your animation. 
create a new level loaded event to trigger the matinee to play when your level has loaded. Now join up the loaded and visible event so that it calls the play command on the matinee. Set matinee to loop the animation so it plays over and over again. Double click on the matinee to open up the editor. Right click and add a new empty group. We're now going to assign the animation to the matinee. Make sure that this is selected in your content browser and then assign it. Now all we need is an animation control track. Add this by right clicking on the empty group. Select the new animation track and press enter. Now select the animation sequence. Drag the timeline so that it only covers the period where there is an animation sequence. This will stop the playhead from carrying on and playing frames without an animation sequence. If you don't do this, then you'll get what looks like a pause after each loop of the animation. Rebuild. And there you go. As you can see, I'm using a version of UDK for creating virtual reality games for the Oculus Rift, so I now get my animated objects within the simple animated environment. Here's an application of the same kind of thing on the Cylon-like model that I'm building. The body is like the first cube and the eye is like the second cube. I hope you find this useful. Please subscribe and please like. Thank you for watching.